This video is about TIL therapy. TIL stands for Tumor Infiltrating Lymphocytes. Scientists have been working on this type of treatment since the 1980s, but it's taken a long time to make it both safe and effective, and to prove that it helps enough of the people it's given to to make it worthwhile. TIL therapy is a treatment that involves taking some of the person's own white blood cells, called TILs, and using them to fight their cancer, a little bit like a transplant. Because it uses the person's immune system, it's a type of immunotherapy. It's sometimes also described as a personalized cancer treatment. Some parts of the TIL treatment are quite complicated and different from other treatments. So I'll go through them a bit at a time. I'll try to answer these questions as we go along. Who is TIL therapy for? What are TILs? How does TIL therapy work? How much does TIL therapy help people? How is TIL therapy given to someone with melanoma? And finally, what sorts of side effects does it cause? We'll start with the first question, who is it for? Well, since 2011, lots of new treatments have been created for people with advanced melanoma, such as targeted therapies and immunotherapies like pembrolizumab or nivolumab, which are both checkpoint inhibitors. So far, TIL therapy has mostly been given to people whose disease has spread and who haven't been helped by other treatments. Now I want to look at what TIL therapy is and how it works. I'll begin by explaining what TILs are. In order to explain what TILs are, I'll start here with our immune system. Our immune system involves lots of types of white blood cells. Billions and billions of these cells travel around in our blood and live in all our organs and tissues, including in our skin. They protect us from infections like viruses and bacteria, but they also do their best to protect us from cancer. Melanoma tumors often contain lots and lots of white blood cells. These white blood cells live in amongst the cancer cells. Lots of them aren't helpful at all. They've been enticed in by the cancer cells and they provide cancer cells with support and protection. But melanomas are often caused by UV light from the sun or from sunbeds. UV light damages cells and this acts as an alert telling helpful white blood cells called T-cells that the cells are faulty and telling them to enter the tumour. So, as well as cancer protecting white blood cells, you generally also find T-cells inside melanoma tumours. As I've said in other melanoma-focused videos, T-cells are powerful white blood cells that can kill cancer cells. Because they're inside tumours, and because T-cells are a type of lymphocyte, we call them tumour infiltrating lymphocytes, or TILs. Although cancer-fighting T-cells get into melanomas, they often get suppressed by the unhelpful white blood cells, or they get tired and worn out and stop fighting. Treatments like checkpoint inhibitors, such as pembrolizumab, nivolumab and ipilimumab, can boost T-cells inside tumours but sometimes this isn't enough to help someone with melanoma and the treatment doesn't cure them. And this is when the person might be offered TIL therapy. Now let's look at how TIL therapy works. TIL therapy is a one-off treatment, a bit like a transplant. It starts when a surgeon removes a patient's melanoma tumor. Generally, they take one tumor, but they might remove several depending on their size and location. A scientist then chops up the tumour into pieces in a lab and grows them in conditions that are ideal to rejuvenate tired and worn out T cells and that encourage them to multiply. Eventually there are billions of rejuvenated T cells ready to be put back into the patient's blood. From there the T cells will hopefully find their way into any melanoma tumours in the patient's body. And because they have been given so much encouragement away from the unhelpful, suppressing white blood cells, the T cells put back are hopefully strong and resilient and able to overwhelm the cancer cells' defensives. We'll now turn to what evidence we have that the approach works. The first large study looking at how well TIL therapy works was the M14 TIL study. The results of this study were released in autumn of 2022, 
you can see some of those results here. You might want to pause the video so that you can look more closely. Half the people in the study received a single infusion of TIL therapy. The other half received up to four doses of ipilimumab, a treatment described in the immunotherapy video. It does look like some of the people in the study really were helped by TIL therapy, and they generally got more benefits than the people given ipilimumab. It's also worth pointing out that the people in this study had already had other treatments before getting TIL therapy, and it's possible that TIL therapy will work better for people who haven't already had other treatments, but this needs investigating. When a doctor suggests TIL therapy to a patient, one of the things they need to discuss is how the treatment is given and how long the whole process takes. It generally takes about five weeks from the time a surgeon removes a person's tumour to the point where there are enough rejuvenated TILs to be put back into their body. Before receiving their infusion of TILs, the person also receives a course of chemotherapy. This affects their immune system as a whole and makes the treatment more effective. In addition, after receiving their TILs, the person receives a treatment called interleukin-2, which gives the TILs an extra boost. Of course, as with other treatments, TIL therapy does cause side effects. Each of the three stages of TIL therapy, the chemotherapy, the TIL infusion, and interleukin-2 can cause serious side effects. These include the impact of the chemotherapy, which destroys a lot of the body's healthy white blood cells and can leave people very vulnerable to infections. Because of the risks, the person normally spends at least a week or two in hospital. In addition to its side effects, TIL therapy doesn't always work, and there are a few different reasons for this. For some people, the problem is with their T cells. Maybe there just weren't enough of them, or there were problems growing them in the lab, or maybe they were just too tired out and couldn't be rejuvenated. But the problem can also lie with the person's cancer. As I've already said, cancer cells tend to make a very protected environment for themselves, it might be that the tills given the person weren't powerful enough to overcome this protection. At the moment, till therapy is still very new and we don't know exactly who it would help the most. It's also very expensive and difficult to produce. So there are lots of things that the NHS has to consider when deciding who it should be given to. I'll finish with a summary. Melanoma tumours often contain lots of white blood cells. Some of these cells, the TILs, are helpful and can kill cancer cells, but they're generally suppressed and exhausted because of the cells around them. In TIL therapy, a person's tumour is removed and the TILs are multiplied and rejuvenated in a laboratory. This process takes around five weeks. They're then given back to the patient as a one-off infusion into their blood. Before their infusion, the person is given chemotherapy to prepare their body and they're given interleukin-2 afterwards to give their TILs an extra boost. Each person given TIL therapy is receiving a treatment that is unique to them, containing their own TILs. TIL therapy is incredibly technical, time-consuming and expensive, but it also looks like it can help people and there's much more research underway to find out how to improve it further.